the CME Group. I'm Eric Wolf, Ma'am Wilkinson. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. Got a lot going on today, bunch of economic data coming out. Case Shiller Home Price Index uptick just a bit. We also had uh, the um, continuing claims, also, or sorry, it was not continuing claims, it was uh, consumer confidence. Consumer confidence really kind of hit it out of the park. 70 came in as a reading. It was supposed to be down in the 63 area. That 70 reading is the seven month high that we've seen. So a lot of this has to do with some of the hiring people are confident about. We were kind of joking around earlier today. What are they confident about? Well, the stock market is up near the highs that we've seen in a long time. And the hiring is starting to look a little bit better on that front. So we have the Dow right now trading at this 1450 area. This is going to be a huge spore resistance. I talk about it since I've been blue in the face of like last seven days. I think that we're going to start seeing these bears start giving in a little bit. We're going to start seeing this market trade up towards the 1460s. If we can settle up in that 1460s area, some kind of digit in there and of, I think it's going to be a bullish sentiment towards the end of the year coming into the uh, Christmas season. I think a lot of people are kind of holding back on spending. You're going to see a lot of spending coming into this Christmas season, which really could send this stock market higher. S&Ps, I kind of looking at it, doing a little bit of charting. 1560 could be the high by December 35th. Uh, 31st and the Dow Jones Industrial Average could be topping up at around 14,000. Those are coming in for the December area. I don't think it's going to be right away, but we need to start seeing a little bit higher ticking here, and I think that that's going to happen. Now, into the corn, the corn or the grains, corn 730. There's a, like I said yesterday, there's a lot of put action there. You can see it today. We came down. Uh, 1739 and the bulls came in to defend that area. We've since kind of trickled up higher. Overnight, we were much higher, but coming into these day sessions, we start to see a little bit of sell off. I continue to think that these markets are going to go a little bit higher. We have to find support before I really start wanting to step into this market. I'm going to wait for the real put action to start firing and if we get below that 13 or uh sorry 730 area i think you'll see a real good flush down and that is going to be the time to probably step in the market and uh maybe sell some put spreads for a credit and see how that works out or if you're really really bullish you could kind of go on with the uh getting long a call spread but i think when we see this flush down you're going to see those put premiums spike up and then you're going to have an opportunity to take some uh some of that credit spread home with you, all right? So, well, if you can't take that, take it easy.